Y'all, it's not that often that I get to say this sentence, but it's been a fucking great week to be a woman, and I think most of you know why. Look, when I was a little girl, what happened this week wasn't even a dream. It was a goddamn impossibility. The 19th Amendment was ratified in August of 1920, and here we are exactly one presidential election shy of a century later, and we finally have a major party with a female nominee. And not only that, she's probably going to win. Now, I don't want to get all political here, but this is a big fucking deal and I'm celebrating it. Even if that means the tsunami of angry emails about how Shillery is owned by the TPP and favoring a trade deal that seeks to counteract the economic growth of China makes her unfit to be the fucking president. Or maybe about how sending non-classified emails that contain information that was later classified somehow merits jail time for the first time in human history. Or maybe about how you didn't get your favorite flavor of ice cream because the majority of people at the party liked a different flavor. Oh, and by the way, they've been waiting for this flavor for 240 fucking years. But like I said, I'm not going to get all political. All I'm going to say is this. After more than 100 episodes of delivering bad news week after week, this week I'm delivering news of progress. Big, whopping, motherfucking progress. And even if right now you're angrily tweeting the words email server at me, you should still pause long enough to recognize that. But Hillary wasn't the only chick kicking ass at the Democratic convention last week. Among the many ladies that deserve recognition is one I want to give a special shout out to, because she also represented a monumental step for women everywhere. Her name is Sarah McBride, and she was the first trans woman and activist to take the stage at a national political convention. And in a country that's seriously wrestling with bathroom bills, I'd say that's a huge step in the right direction. And by the way, if you missed it, check out her speech. It's moving, it matters, and it's leaked on the show notes for this episode. And look, I know I've already used this segment once to explain why I'm supporting Hillary, but just in case you needed one more reason, I wanted to add one overwhelming point in her favor. And that, my friends, is the goddamn alternative. And holy shit, if it isn't reason enough to stand with the Democratic nominee. You see, while we were celebrating a woman being nominated by a major party and a trans woman being welcomed as a voice of power into the Democratic platform, Mike Pence was reminding us the stakes of letting the other guys win. He was at a press conference last Thursday when he said, quote, I'm pro-life and I don't apologize for it. Before adding that, quote, we'll see Roe vs. Wade consigned to the ash heap of history where it belongs, end quote. So keep that in mind, folks. One party seems to be moving forward on social issues, while the other one is promising to set progress back to before I was born. I'm just saying there's stakes. Pretty real fucking stakes. And while I wait for someone who learned all they know about politics from a Bernie or Bus Facebook page to tweet me a question unrelated to anything I just talked about, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 